Welcome back to Chuck Chews. We're going to do a special video today. I cannot see the viewfinder on the camera, so hopefully I'm keeping this all in the shot. I'll just stand back here so I can see it for this part. This is called a wild bacon, the microwave bacon cooker. We've had this for a couple of years now. And uh, we used to cook our bacon the old-fashioned way. You'd put it in a pan and splatter grease everywhere. And then we went to making it in the oven, putting it on a sheet pan with the wire racks, and maybe not even a wire rack, just straight on aluminum foil. And you'd end up with a big sheet pan full of grease. And then we tried the microwave methods with just laying it on plates and other things and nothing seemed to work. And then we seen a YouTube channel do a review of this thing and it looked pretty good. So we picked one up. First one we got had a big crack in the side when shipped to us. So we had to send it back and uh, got another one. The only thing I could say about it was, I don't know how much they cost now. I didn't even look them up. but. Uh, when we bought it, it was it was like $24, which seemed pretty steep for what it is. But you pretty much, you have these clips you push down, releases the lid, and it comes out with this thing, which you do like a quarter a turn or so, and it releases this. On this, you then take your bacon, which I have some here that is... Been in the freezer for a while, so it's probably not the best in the world. It will hold six slices of bacon, as you can tell from the six. Oh, it's still a little frozen. And you basically droop these over. The other half usually does the wild bacon. I don't. So she has the timings down. This whole process is all about timing. You have to get the timing down on this to within seconds. Uh, I know she usually puts six slices in for... Four and a half minutes. Uh, what dog? Uh, anybody want a beagle? Can't turn around anywhere without a dog being under your feet. Get some of that grease off my hands there. Up there. All right. Here's probably the hardest pro part of the whole process is getting this thing to actually pick up and fit down in there and then you just take this and put it in your microwave all right i'm going to go 215 since she does 430 for six i'm going to do 215 for three logic says that will work Well, I should have picked the camera up and pointed it inside the microwave there. Well, that was going around and around in its little circles because I know the other half never stares there and stares at. Well, she's so short, she probably can't see in there anyways. But uh, there's like a little lightning storm going on in there <laughs> inside that bucket. <laughs> I know there were sparks flying everywhere in there. All right. Let me... Uh, Take this out. Now this is where the guesswork starts. You may have to open this and go, whoa, that's still not done enough to my liking, or overdone, or that doesn't look too bad, actually. I think that's pretty good. All right. Oh! Okay, and there's the other flaw with this thing is, is it will fall off of there. And man, that thing is hot. You will have some 
hot bacon here. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't know how long this bacon's been in the uh, in the freezer, so I'm not going to eat any of it. I'm not that brave. I'm not sure it's still edible. But when you're done here, boy, this container is really hot. You'll kind of end up with an entire container of bacon fat. For which, if you've ever noticed any of our videos, we have this. Lovely green bean can from the green beans we give the dog every night for snack. And you just take your grease. Once it cools down a little bit, I'm going to pour it in there hot so hopefully it doesn't splatter on me. Yeah, just pour it in there. If it sits in this and re-solidifies, don't worry about it. You put it back in the microwave with the lid on it for about five to eight seconds no more than ten and it'll loosen it all back up and then you can pour it in there you can also run it under hot water but if you do that don't pour it in here because the next time you put hot grease in here you will have issues and we just put that back there but that is the wild bacon we kind of swear by it. It, it it's actually pretty good i mean it makes you can make your bacon crispy if you want you can leave it in less time and make it Limp for the people who like limp bacon. My only complaint is is usually right in the center where it folds over the top is usually the part that doesn't get done. So I usually eat from either end, and then Precious down here on the floor she gets the the center part because I do like my bacon crispy. It will crisp up for a while or after it sits there for a minute. I mean it's already look that's been sitting there for just less than a minute or two now. It's already crisp. Up, fold the napkins over and get some more of that off of there. But that's your wild bacon. Don't know if anybody out there has ever seen it or not, but uh, it's pretty good. I'll try to find the link for it if it's still on Amazon. Put it in the description below, and uh, you can check it out for yourself if you would like. This is not paid sponsorship. Nothing. We're just doing this because we like this product. And I believe, I believe this is going to be a special video. <laughs> One, zero, zero. If my timing and count is right. If not, I can't count. Public schools, what do you expect? Until the next video.